Hi, I'm Georgia Woods and welcome to GoFly Online. Today we will be looking at rules for visual meteorological requirements for VFR flight. While this video is focused on the Australian rules and regulations, these rules are usually common internationally. VFR means visual flight rules and in Australia and internationally, there are certain rules pilots have to adhere to in order to fly legally and safely. We will assume for the video that the pilot is flying by visual flight rules below 10,000 feet and outside of controlled airspace. The first thing that the pilot needs to consider is the minimum horizontal or forward visibility required to legally and safely conduct the flight. When below 10,000 feet, the legal minimum visibility is 5,000 metres or 5 kilometres. So, how do we know what 5K looks like? A typical length of a CTAF runway is between 800 to 1,000 metres, so 5K is roughly 5 runways in length. The weather forecast is another way to obtain the forecast visibility for your aerodrome and area of your flight. For instance, if the forecast says 8,000 metres visibility, you know you can legally fly. Knowing your local geography also helps. If, for instance, you know that there is a mountain range 4 kilometres from your aerodrome which you can normally see clearly and on this particular day you can't see it, due to smoke or rain showers, then you know you have not met the 5 kilometre minimum visibility requirements. The next item to discuss is distance from cloud. When flying between 3,000 and 10,000 feet above mean sea level, the pilot needs to be at least 1,000 feet below as well as 1,000 feet above and 1,500 metres horizontally away from cloud to legally maintain visual meteorological conditions. Your distance from cloud can be a little bit tricky to work out. I find an easy way with students is to visualise an aircraft doing circuits. 1,000 feet is circuit height and visually this is the distance the pilot needs to be above or below the cloud. The best way to visualise 1,500 metres horizontally is to imagine one and a half standard runways from the cloud as a rough guide. What is the rule for flying below 3,000 feet? Well, when flying at or below 3,000 feet above mean sea level or 1,000 feet above ground level, whichever is higher, there is a reduction in the visibility requirements. The horizontal visibility is still 5,000 metres or 5 kilometres and the rule is simply to keep clear of cloud. The pilot must be in sight of ground or water at all times. One of the reasons this rule was introduced is so that pilots can manoeuvre around aerodromes safely, but still maintain legal separations from cloud, providing the visibility is good. This is why it is so important to obtain a weather forecast before your flight. If the pilot in command believes the weather conditions have deteriorated below the minimum VFR requirements, even though the weather forecast did not predict this, you still have to go by the current conditions that the pilot is observing and potentially cancel the flight or wait until conditions improve. For more information on visual meteorological requirements for VFR flight, go to the website vfrg.casa.gov.au and then look under Operations, General and Visual Flight Rules. If you thought this video was helpful, either subscribe to our YouTube channel, GoFly Online, or go to gofly.online for more videos. Happy and safe flying. See you next time on GoFly Online.